from as young as I can remember, I've always idolised those people in films that, you know, the really tough, kind of macho, the strong women, basically. Lara Croft, she was like my idol as a child. I was like, I want to be you. Mixed martial arts is essentially a combination of lots of different martial arts. Our main ones that we focus on are Muay Thai, which is punches, kicks, elbows, knees, and then Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which is floor work, it's a lot of grappling, kind of chokeholds, sweeps, that kind of thing. MMA makes me feel fit, strong, happy, positive, and empowered. I also like the confidence that it gave me and how powerful it made me feel, as well as how excited and hyped I would be for each session. Regardless of the mood that I'm coming to, I will be leaving feeling happy and lively afterwards. What you think of when you think of an MMA fighter, you just think of aggression. A lot of women are, you know, scared of being in that kind of environment with lots of men. Um, and that's why we've kind of, as a club, we've taken strides to make a female only zone. That's why we brought in women taught and women's only self-defense sessions to kind of ease girls into the world of MMA so that they then feel comfortable to go and, you know, join the mixed classes. I think when I joined there was only four of us and now we've got at least 30, which is like a good percentage of our club. So we're, we're definitely kind of changing that stereotype and making it more accessible for everyone. 100% the favorite and the best thing of MMA society are people that are building that community. I feel so comfortable uh, and so at ease to train and enjoy training. Especially when you meet new people and you say, oh, you know, I'm the president of MMA, you do get that like, whoa, there's like an attitude shift because suddenly it's, you're not this defenseless young girl, you're this person who puts effort and time into bettering themselves. Overcoming these barriers to being a woman in sport is essential. I'm a very firm believer that as a human being, if you're not challenging yourself, you're not changing and you're not growing. My message to women just everywhere is if you have something you want to do, do it. Don't let yourself be guided by the thoughts and the opinions of others because if you live your life for other people, you're never being true to yourself. Don't be intimidated. It's not a bunch of people who love fighting and getting into fights. If you feel like you may not want to partner with any of the guys, in my opinion, they are actually really nice. And honestly, when I go with the girls, they're more intense and more competitive. MMA will always be a part of my life. As I'm falling asleep, I have a tendency to shadow box. So like my shoulders will start moving and in my head, I'm imagining that like, you know, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook. I think for me, I'm always going to have that you know, outlet and I'm always gonna go back to MMA as a way to kind of clear my head, to, you know, feel like a beast, smashing a few pads. And um, over the years, through doing MMA, I feel like I'm that bit closer to being Lara Croft. 